There's another zero recoil burst weapon in Warzone, and no, this isn't the SVA. This wipes the floor with that weapon post 37 meters. And by wipes the floor, I mean it would delete your enemies over 20% faster at certain ranges. So what is this weapon? Well, it's the Holger 5.56 with a conversion kit. But without the right attachments, then the recoil looks like this, where it's totally out of control, as opposed to how it could look with the correct ones. Why has this suddenly become viable? Well, it recently got a buff to its damage range and bullet velocity. And secondly, no one had been using the right attachments on it. As after this specific attachment got a nerf, people had long forgotten about it and considered it totally useless as it reduces your bullet velocity by almost 20%, which in turn made it useless on most long range options. But this doesn't matter for the Holger 556 with the conversion kit as it has a ridiculously high base bullet velocity in the first place, sitting at over 1000. So what are the best attachments to give you this sort of accuracy? So jumping into the attachments, first of all, we are going to be sticking on the Jack Signal Burst conversion kit. This essentially gives you quite a lot of benefits, but more most notably really improves the bullet velocity by 50%, taking you to over that 1000 mark, making it really, really easy to hit those targets at long ranges. It also, as you can tell, uh, ridiculously reduces the recoil control as well. Again, making it really viable at longer ranges and accuracy as well. Those things are nice to have, but really not necessary. It does impede your sprint to fire and ADS speed, but ultimately, you know, those are sort of worthy trade-offs. Then onto the next attachment, we are gonna be taking the 40 round mag. I think this goes without saying, it is the largest magazine available. That's why we're taking that one. Then onto the ammunition, take the 5.56 NATO high grain rounds. This buffs out the damage range and the bullet velocity. It does reduce the recoil control, but you'll see what I mean in a little bit as we are going to be sticking on a specific attachment that's going to reduce the bullet velocity by 20%. So you do need to buff it out a little bit more. Then onto the underbarrel. No, we're not actually going to be taking the Bruin heavy support. I know a lot of weapons are using this. However, this gun really doesn't suffer too much from recoil control with the last attachment that I'm going to put on, but it does suffer more with visual recoil. So this is why we're going to be taking the Kimura RYN03 vertical grip as as you can see the recoil gun kick is by minus 14% which is just that little bit more than the Bruin heavy support grip and then for the muzzle the last thing we're going to be putting on is the Jack BFB muzzle now yes everyone did stop using this at a certain point and that's because it did get nerfed into the ground now one of the main reasons why it stopped getting used at the longer ranges on long range weapons like the Holger 556 was because of its bullet velocity by reducing weapons by t almost 20%, which, you know, with most of them sitting at about 800, brought them down to around sort of 650, that sort of mark, which is SMG territory and just really made it almost impossible to hit your shots at longer ranges. However, due to this conversion kit having such ridiculous ridiculous amounts of bullet velocity anyway and which is why we put on the nato high grain rounds as you can see we go from 1250 well, 1200 bullet velocity down to 1000 bullet velocity which still makes this gun ridiculously high in terms of the bullet velocity and ultimately as i showed you earlier on makes you know you're basically not moving and you can shoot this weapon out to 100 meters and challenge snipers on headies like it's it really is ridiculous yes it puts you up on the mini map uh, we do know this increased radar detection there but it's a such a worthy trade-off in the fact that you're going to win so many gunfights pretty much any ar or lmg that you come up against you are going to wipe the floor with because it's got a fantastic ttk and ultimately you're going to hit like 95 percent of your shots and they're just going to miss a lot at longer ranges anyway but here's the full build don't forget to like and send this to a friend that struggles with recoil